Holland, you say? That's our beloved Ropey. And let's see this war. French reconquest of... Okay, so it's the French who declared war here. This is going to be quite nice for the Bohemian player, since the uh, Austrians oh. may, may get distracted. The Ottomans are making a, another uh, great yep. plunge into Hungary. Hungary's troops have been shattered. Austrians are running to their capital, and Bohemia is sieging everything back. Yeah, Papal State is currently sieging Tyrol, it seems. So yeah, this is a uh, saving grace for Bohemia, who really needs this... Uh... Oh dear god, look at France's alliances. Yeah, Ottoman, he's... Scotland, Lorraine, Ferrara, the Papal State in Holland. We have three players allied <laughs> with France on top of AI, and poor, poor Brittany is... Off alone. Well, it can only be oh, so poor. Yeah. Brittany is actually played by our Wait. most favorite shit poster, isn't, isn't he? No. Uh, Yo, he's, yeah. He 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 is. Uh, yes, he's quite the uh, troll, but he's Dutch, so. Sadukai. So yeah, Brittany. He's court. He's secured an alliance with uh, Castile, Aragon, with Castile, with the Iberian wedding, plus Portugal. And Naples is under Castile, so that did remain, which makes southern Italy rather hard for our players to invade at this point. Okay, so Crimea ate up Perm, and has, yeah, completely walled off Kazan from any further expansion. No guy is fully occupied, I'm betting Crimea is probably waiting to course and stuff first. And no guy just disappeared. Let's see here. We have Ferrara is also in this French war, which makes sense. And Tyrone is back at war again with some more Irish reclaiming his cores. Tyrone, you say? I am a Crimea still. I just want to check if he was. Uh, he had a lot of admin points, so I was checking if he was coring his uh, his shit. Did you notice that Holland actually annexed his vassal now? Ah, I saw that 25%, yeah. Crimea is core and everything. He probably burned it all to the ground. We can check that by the province modifiers, though. So we look right here. Province raised, yes. So it looks like Crimea... I'm not going to go through every single one. There's probably a good chance Crimea just raised everything to the ground, so he came cheaper, and he got a lot of admin off of it. So yes, yeah, so the French war is, and there's the French troops in Vienna itself. Oh, Vienna, I guess, if I want to go full, uh, if I want to go with the full English bit there. You say Vienna? Yes, we do, instead of Vienna. So yes, uh, and Bosnia is currently <laughs> not looking quite so great with 40k. Austrians and 13k Hungarians in his land. Oh, four oh, Bosnians there. They're really having at him. And the Bohemia player in the meanwhile is sieging back his fort, isn't even going to claim the Wurgle. I don't know if the uh, Balkans had, no, if the Balkans had uh, just joined Bohemia's aggressive war, if they made deal with Bohemia join their aggressive war, this would have been a great chance for them to at least cut the Ottomans down a bit. Uh, say again. I was saying if the uh, Balkan players had just uh, coordinated with Bohemia a little bit, this would have been a great opportunity for them to. Um, this been a great opportunity for them to. Yeah, to attack. Ottomans. Well, they don't. They wouldn't want to attack because of the amazing alliance chain the Ottomans have between France. Oh, well, with France at least, and uh, Bohemia. Oh, hello. They're allied with Bohemia. I am. Yeah. Hello. I am. Not quite there. That makes sense now. I was thinking. Bo I was thinking Ottomans were. Uh, for some. I switched up. I switched. Uh, I was thinking Ottomans were uh, on the defensive here. 
rather than on the attack. Yeah, they are on the attack right now. Yeah, the uh, but I forgot I forgot that Bohemia was an ally of the Ottomans. And so Saxony and the Pal uh, Palatinate are uh, well. Well, uh, Valeria, Austria is Valeria. getting uh, getting beaten up pretty badly right now by France. Oh yeah, because uh, France has occupied the remaining British territories in its uh, heartland, and uh, Austria is the ally in there. Ottoman is is not going to beat this. Well, eh, not this particular bit, but uh, France is definitely going to be helpful. Well, it seems and the, like... and the Pope itself, the Pope himself, has now uh, appeared in Bohemia's lands to uh, start to showing or hu Hungary what's going on. <laughs> Ah, uh, defeated by AI. Well, not defeat by AI, but uh, really, when AI outdo you, it's not good. It is not. I don't get why Bohemia isn't trying to at least put one troop in Vienna, uh, and uh, since. since France will probably put his troops there anyway, and then Bohemia would get the um, would get uh. would get the siege for it, and should be able to peace out. I'll just check this. Oh, what I've noticed oh, right now. Oh, Austria is actually quite near peacing out with uh, with Bohemia. He should really just do that. Yep. I don't know. What I've noticed with the AI this patch is that they. Uh, very keen on avoiding. Well, there's there is definitely kind of, there is definitely a mix up. There's definitely a screw up somewhere when um, when it comes to rebels because even when the AI has more troops and can beat the rebels, they're very hesitant about actually engaging them. Yeah, the and rebels, uh, right? Be, right, rebels, and that's mostly because they uh, AI was very gung ho about attacking players' rebels for them when they went to war, and the same token. A player put one troop on a fort, AI would basically siege it and get no rewards for it. Uh, if they're in a different war, AI now uh, seems to very much avoid that and will not put their troops on there if they're not going to have the siege in a different war. Yeah, that makes sense in, in some way. Also, so, they, they made the smart rebels. Um, where rebels uh, would attack uh, the w atta attack the nation to defend their uh, their holdings, if they could win. Yep, Not Crimea is uh, attacking into per is attacking into India, with Kashmir with their ally Baluchistan. I uh, see there being issues about getting troops across. I'm assuming Baluchistan and Timurids aren't exactly the best of friends. Multan, we'll look here. They don't. Ha uh, they are rivaled Kashmir, which will be an issue, and they are not giving military access to Baluchistan. So anyway, so this could be just a long drawn out war for Crimea player. We have Oman's at war with Najin Hajet. Just getting more of the Arabian Peninsula for himself. Ethiopia is back on the war path as well with. A lot of nations. Lodia, Kaffa, Medri, Bahri, and Makuria. So basically, he's at war with half <laughs> half of uh, East Africa right now. Well, they are somewhat weak anyway. Uh, they don't tend to have a lot of troops. And uh, well, he did take uh, the Coptic discipline. So. Another thing of note. Brittany is attacking England with Castile, Aragon, and Naples on his side. England's navy has been decimated. It looks like Tyrone did not honor that call to arm. Oh, that's that's a neat move from uh, our, our lovable shit poster. Yep, and Kildare is right now. Uh, Tyrone's at war with 
Kildare, which is... I'm not sure which. Which means he is practically nearly back to... Oh, he, already, he annexed them as soon as I passed over. Yes, he's just uh, three provinces shy. He's got a peace with England, or a truce with England, which means he uh, won't be able to really take advantage of this. Well, chances are that England will be in this war for a little while longer. Ferrara has attacked Austria, it looks like. Ferrara has attacked who? No, sorry, not attacked. My bad. He's out. I forgot Ferrara was out was with the French war. Ferrara is just taking some land from the Austrians. Well, he's far taking advantage of this opportunity that the French uh, had given him. So, yeah, we're not giving him credit for something he's not doing currently. Ah, yeah, I just saw, I just saw three, uh, I just saw three Ferrara and Hawkeye provinces. Vienna is falling. All of Austria is looking pretty blue with a little smidge of green. Yeah, and it seems oh, like Bohemia yeah. heated out of advice and decided to peace out Hungary. So now they should be able to yeah, win the war. Austria. Yeah, with Austria, sorry. Uh, so now they should be able to beat up Hungary and get what they originally intended. I am Bohemia curious. also has declared war against uh, Bavaria, which uh, Palatinate has taken their bit out. And now it looks like Bohemia is taking a bit out of Bavaria as well. Oh, he's quite uh, aggressive there. Oh, I think I remember hearing something about Bavaria getting potentially split up. Yeah, I sadly haven't had a, a lot of time to uh, to discuss uh, tactics with players. Yeah, I just got uh, I just got news about. I had heard from Saxony and Crimea, just some, I believe, I think it was those two that I heard the most from. I know Crimea's plans right now, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> with that, uh, with that single war where they can go into India, it's going to be, um, yeah, it's going to be quite, it's going to be quite interesting to see how much Crimea is able to take advantage of here. Or if they will just simply implode upon itself. That could happen. Definitely could. Do you think some Indian? Uh, do you think uh, an Indian too upon relocate upon rehost would be nice? Yeah, they, uh, I think we will. Uh, since Avinter, uh, the Kassan player, is, is practically dead, he will likely and be. He did want. He did want Gujarat. If we that wouldn't be too bad to give him if he wanted. We could give him Manchu as well, just to match up uh, Crimea getting a bit too large. I <sighs> think is the central steps are quite barren. India is a lot more important to secure. So we have Bamanis or Vishnagar or Kucharet. Yeah. Those are definitely, yeah, definitely those are the three I was looking at. Delhi's also potentially an option, but uh, I don't really see that going quite so well. 